This was an unprecedented sentence for a financial fraud case in Vietnam. Filed for appeal for reduced sentences. The high-ranking official that has been disciplined bribed auditors at the State Bank of Vietnam. She walks free. What about all the people that lost their money? accumulating in a total of $27 billion. File complaints in order to help in their investigation. The death sentence may not be the end. Vietnam's Bernie Madoff on steroids. If you thought the largest financial fraud in history is over, then think again. Welcome to Vietnam and welcome to the continuing saga of Miss Jung Mi Lang that is leaving everyone in disbelief. In a jaw-dropping twist, Miss Jung Mi Lang, a convicted criminal, has appealed her capital sentence and she might walk away free. Yes, you heard it right, she might walk away free. And in this video, we are going to unravel the reasons why she will get out of prison and other updated information about the case. As the chairwoman is facing life and death, new information in the case has been unraveled, including a high-ranking official that has been disciplined for his involvement in the case. But who is it? That is what we're gonna talk about today along with other details about this case. So let's get started. Hello, my name is Ken Jung, international business immigration attorney with over 15 years of experience helping foreigners, companies, and individuals to invest, retire, live, and work in Vietnam. And we try to give you the most updated information in English so you know what you're getting into before you enter the market. For those who are new to the story, we have created a three-part series, and this is the fourth on the particular story, and you can click on the right-hand corner to see all of those videos. Just a quick rundown of the story. Miss Jung Mi Lang, Vietnam's Bernie Madoff on steroids, masterminded the largest bank fraud in history. At 68 years old, Miss Lang exploited the restructuring of Saigon Commercial Bank to be used as her own piggy bank after the merger of the other two banks. Indirectly owning 91.5% of the bank and directing the bank officers to make fraudulent loans of up to 2,500 loans to her existing banks in over the 10 year period, accumulating in a total of $27 billion. To mask her crimes, she bribed auditors at the State Bank of Vietnam. After a massive trial involving 2,400 people, six tons of documents, 200 attorneys, and $27 billion needed to be collected by the People's Committee, the People's Court of Ho Chi Minh sentenced her to death for bribery, violating banking regulations, embezzlement, and fraudulent loans. This was an unprecedented sentence for a financial fraud case in Vietnam. As of a few weeks ago, the People's Committee received Ms. Lang's appeal. And as always in Vietnam, the three-page handwritten appeal was not disclosed. Ms. Lang, along with other 50 defendants in this case, also filed for appeal for reduced sentences. And get this, so far, the court has not posted the verdict on the electronic portal, and the attorneys of the defendants and the lawyers have not received their announcements as well. However, by law, the court must send the judgment or copies to all the involved parties within 10 days of its pronouncement. Thus, it's not impossible to this, see this case voided based on a technicality, and then Ms. Lang would be able to walk free. And if she walks free, what about all the people that lost their money? I am going to talk about that right now, but if you can just give me one second, and unlike Ms. Jung Mi Lang, we are making these videos for you for free, to provide you the incredible twists, turns, and information of this case, and other insightful information about traveling, living, working, and based in Vietnam. So all I'm asking is that 80% of you that are not subscribed to our YouTube channel right now, it just takes one second for you to click subscribe so you can get new videos every single week. While Ms. Jung Mi Lang is awaiting her appeal case, let's look at what's happening to the victims. Ms. Lang's fraud committed under a $1.18 billion bond issuance or fraud by Bang Tin Phak has caused the victims to lose a lot of money. However, the police have been encouraging these victims to come forward and file complaints in order to help in their investigation, but they have not come forward as much as needed. In a press release on Tuesday, the police emphasized the importance of documentation to be officially recognized as a victim. Such an action would not allow these victims in order to claim their compensation. 
Between 2018 and 2020, Wang Tinfak and its affiliate issued 25 bonds for operations and to deceive investors. The full extent of this conspiracy is still emerging. The scale of the financial fraud is staggering, with thousands of investors, both individuals and companies, left without assistance and wiped out of their savings by Lang's fraudulent schemes. The bond issuance were marketed as secure and profitable, drawing in unsuspecting investors due to Wang Tinfak's pristine reputation. For the victims, the road to justice and reparations is long and arduous. The legal process is complex and fraught with many challenges. For many of the victims, it's financial ruin, and for others, their lives have been upended due to these fraudulent investments. Now let's pivot to the high-ranking official that has been disciplined for his involvement with this case. Mr. Lei Tanhai, former Ho Chi Minh Party Secretary, is facing disciplinary action initiated by the Central Inspection Committee for his involvement with the disgrace conglomerate Wang Tin Fact. The party committee of the Ho Chi Minh People's Committee breached principles of centralism and working regulations, showing their election of duty and lax leadership. The violations involved the mismanagement of land, assets, and projects developed by Wang Tin Fact and Advanced International Joint Stock Company, which is in the fields of healthcare, education, and real estate. The violations have led to substantial consequences and pose a high risk of financial losses to the state and its entities. The Central Inspection Committee holds many organizations and individuals accountable, including the Standing Committee of the Ho Chi Minh, the Party Committee of the Ho Chi Minh People's Committee, and Hai himself. Others implicated were Lei Huang Guang and Wei Ying Tan Fong, former members of the party central committee and other departments of other committees. Warnings were issued against the party's committee of Ho Chi Minh City and other departments received warnings as well, such as the finance, planning and investments, also the natural resources and environment and other committees as well. Disciplinary actions were taken against the standing party committees and others such as Hai, Wung and Fong. In March 2020, at age 74, Hai lost his position as party secretary for the term 2010 to 2015 due to his wrongful decisions in the development of the new Thu Thiem urban development area. Inspectors noted that he was primarily responsible for violations in leading and directing these projects, signing documents that were contravening the Ho Chi Minh People's Council and against budget and construction laws. The real question is, will there be more arrests as a consequence? This has led to public outcry and a request for more stringent measures. Many believe that arrests and prosecution is the only way to send a message that corruption will not be tolerated. So what lies ahead? As the saga of the Miss Chung Mi Lang unfolds, the eyes of the nation are on the legal system. Looking at the appeal process, what's happening to the victims and the government officials as well. The outcome of this case will have far-reaching effects on Vietnam's financial system. But as mentioned earlier, the death sentence may not be the end, but we will see whether the victims will have their justice and their day in court. So as always, my name is Ken Yung. I want to say thank you very much for watching our video today and the fourth episode in our series about Miss Jung Mi Lang. And I hope you like our Facebook page, subscribe to our YouTube channel, comment below about the case and what you want to hear, and of course, click on the bell for notifications. So on behalf of Yung Global, my name is Ken Yung. Thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one.